G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. Welcome back. Um, today I'm at Dustin's property just up the road. You've seen a couple of times before, and uh, given it's going into autumn now, and um, so we've got all the leaves dropping, I thought I'd do a bit of a blow awards video for you. Um, so, I mean, we don't have tons really, but um, I think there's enough. So, <clears throat> I haven't mowed this property in ages because it's just so slow. Um, it gets really hot here, but we've got. All three of my um, main blowers that I use for my business. So we've got the BG56, BG86, and BR700. And this really, I mean, this constitutes most of the um, Australian still blower lineup, really. And we have a far smaller selection available over here. So handhelds wise, we don't have any of the 50s or 55s or anything like that. Um, these are the two models available in Australia. Um, we've got the BG56 as the homeowner one, the BG86C as the commercial one. That's it. Um, and then the same in the SH model for the shredders, um, which you'll probably see a few times before. <coughs> Backpacks, we have the BR200, BR450, BR450 CEF, and the BR700. Um, the 800 is not here yet, but as soon as that comes in, I'll probably get one because, I mean, they're pretty cool. Um, I guess in order of which ones I've had, so I've had the BG56 for the longest, followed by the 700, followed by the um, 86. So I think this has now got the hour meters still stuffed up, but I think it's about 18.7, judging by that. This one's got 1.1. Um, and of course, uh, the meter didn't get put on as soon as I bought that blower, so it's probably done at least another 20 hours before the meter was put on. So really, for the two years I've owned it, it actually hasn't got that much use. I've had the BR700 for a year now, and it's done, is that 20, probably 28.9? Um, again, some of the numbers are buggering around. Um, so for a year, this really actually hasn't done that much work. Um, because we just, we don't have all the, um, you know, all the fall cleanups and so on like you guys in America have. This is basically the most leaves that I have on a single property, um, even in this time of year in autumn or fall in America. Um, so we, we don't get as much of it, um, but so uh, they really don't get used. This really is only, all of these are only really for lawns. Um, but I wanted to just have a look at comparison um, power-wise. I mean, it's, it's probably pretty obvious which one, but just interesting to see um, how much of a difference there is. So these are all dry leaves off here mainly. Um, they're all nice and crispy, crunchy. Um, we haven't had any rain here for a while, really, so no proper rain at least. Um, none of these have been run for about a week, except for maybe the 86 I might have fired up once earlier this week. Uh, it's Saturday now, that's it. So, I mean, what I might do first up, uh, we'll go from the smallest to the biggest. Oh, sorry. Um, let's try to get my tripod going here. We'll, we'll go from the smallest one to the largest. So we'll start with the BG56 here. And um, see how this starts up. Uh, the protection, I've just put my new buds on my um, headband earplugs. So, they're always helpful. Pretty good. So, um, choke, fry about six times, all fresh fuel in these. This one's actually um, a number of times been a one for me, so I'm we'll leaving from Stone Cold. Let's see how she goes this time. Good. 
these are the 86 now. Um, same thing, but this one does have a nicer um, recoil starter, I find. Um, a bit nicer to pull. It's a lot smoother with that um, extra spring that's going to it, like in the FS94 as well. Um, so I think in America there's two options of this available, the BG86 and the BG86C. The normal one being just as a standard recoil starter like on the 56 and the C like what I've got being the easy to start. Um, so let's see how this one goes. I would give you CFMs and miles per hour and everything else, but I mean, there's plenty of other videos out there that do that. I really, I just want to see, I think we'll probably go in about this area here because that seems to be about the most even spread of leaves. And um, we'll really we'll just see how they go. So 56, 86, 700. Um, let's stop talking about it. Let's just do it. So we'll start off the, with the BJ56. I'll leave it on the ground. quarter meters um, narrower widens out a little bit up here that's not bad um, so that's a round nozzle gives higher um, higher air speed um, where the 86 with the flat nozzle is a bit of a better CFM not CFM but I mean it's got better CFM in general but it has a wider spread so on the 86 we should actually see it spread them a bit more so I might put the camera down here for the 86 and um, we'll get a bit more on the side actually so you can see it better. Um, extra um, power in the 86 that picks up and um, this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten or so ten feet so it's about say six or something so you can see that's about where the 56 stopped so the 86 has gone an extra quarter half meter um, 
So I'd say this side's about two metres, yeah. So, and you could also see that even from the very start, where the 56 is path is pretty narrow and then widened out, the 86 with that flat nozzle has kept that wide path the whole way through. Now, if I had the round nozzle on this one, um, the same as the 56, I mean, I could probably just swap them straight over now, but I can't really be bothered. Um, if we did that, we'd probably see similar result to that, but still further. Um, but with that flat nozzle, it does widen it out a bit. Um, now, I've sort of I've got enough, I think. I need to do the 700. I'll do this just a few ways over. We've got a bit more to play with. Still maintaining that um, area of where the 86 length of course. So that, that little extra power is what I was really looking for in the 86 and that's what I've um, that's what I've got. So oh, and that's, that's pretty decent in terms of average leaf covering here. There we go. Okay, so now let's um, give the BR700 a try from that same point. considerable power difference there. So you can see the 700 even with the round nozzle, not even a flat nozzle, has actually um, spread all the way out. Basically, it's cleared up to here. So uh, let's, let's measure this out. <laughs> and that torque actually pushed, you can see it's pu it pushed the nozzle a bit back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 21 feet um, for the 700. So it went all the way to here, 86, 56. So there's a considerable power difference um, in it, which I mean, <laughs> can't expected. Um, so I mean that that is why I've really loved this blower because um, when you're doing wet grass, when you've got heavy wet leaves, anything like that, this thing just blasts them. Um, and even the 86, some wet stuff to it, just it, um, it really does well. So yeah, I mean that results speak for themselves, and that spread as well. Um, I think it's to do with I'm not quite sure through the tube you can sort of see. I think they um do some spinny stuff on the inside to help the air stay relatively on track rather than just going willy-nilly and but even then this it basically it goes you can see the line it's made out and along there too um, so even more so than what the BG86 had with the flat nozzle um, but then, yeah, man that's <laughs> that's some results so price wise um, uh, the, I mean everything here is a bit more expensive than America um, just because it is we have to deal with that um, so as of current pricing from what I can recall I think when I bought this BG56 it was $279 I believe they're now down to $249 this is all Australian dollars by the way guys so $249 at this at the moment this is all list, current list prices 2019 $249 um, 399 and 999 now in all honesty guys a thousand dollars for a backpack blower for, for a leaf blower man like you know and even with the BG86 at 399 that's that's pushing it too really and um, like 250 275 up to probably 300 would I mean that's kind of that's all right um, I think 
Husqvarna actually, I think it's the 525 BVX or something, their top of the line handheld blower is, um, I think it's 449 or 469 or something, it's ridiculous. Um, especially for how little we use handheld blowers at the moment, even though I'm trying to start getting back into them a bit more, that's, that's just way out. Um, 399 is really about as far as I'm happy to go for a handheld blower. I mean, 999, like, if we had a cheaper one, I would have gone for it, um, that had good dealer support. The Husqvarna 570 BTS, which is the highest, um, the top Husqvarna backpack blower you can get here, we don't have the 580. Um, the 570 is, retails at 999 as well, but I think they brought it down to 899, so it was $100 cheaper, but I still went with the BR700 because... I just have such good dealer support with Rob at Ashbird and Mowers and you, you guys know I, I rave about them um, and I'll keep raving about them because they're so bloody fantastic where the local Husqvarna dealers are pieces of rubbish. Um, they just, you know, they don't care. So if they're, if they're watching this, lift your bloody game because I'm prepared and this, this shows you, I'm prepared to spend money, my hard earned money, don't, don't worry about sending me anything. If a product is good, I will spend my money on it, um, but I need to make sure that my dealers are going to be there and they're going to be able to provide the parts, the service, the backup, um, and just be nice to me, man. Like, you know, I go into the Husqvarna one and they don't even look up. That's not good support. And so, of course, I when I went in there looking at the 570, when I saw that, I just walked straight back out. I thought, why on earth would I throw $900? at a pack of, you know, people who don't even have the common decency to just look up and greet a potential customer that's coming in who's going to spend $900 on you. Honestly. Um, I don't know about you guys. T t tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm just being overdramatic or anything. I've been raised in a house where it's respect, respect, respect. Um, I've been to a leadership, leadership academy, like, you know, handshake and everything. <laughs> That's what I've been taught from a young age. I don't know, is maybe the world just turned to shit and everyone's um, becoming just gutter people. I don't know. Um, but in my eyes, when I walk into a shop and I'm going to spend a decent amount of money on them, I want to have the people come up, greet me. Hello, how are you going today? What are you looking for? Anything we can help you with? Because that's what I get from the guys up at Ashburn and Mowers. Subsequently, I've spent several thousand dollars there because they've got, you know... They've given me that service that I need and that I I reckon I deserve as a, you know, customer who's going to spend a lot of money on them. Um, so, you know, that's that's just me. But, yeah, I've got, I mean, it's not hard to see that I'm loyal to people who are loyal to me. Like, I've got, what, 1000 well, I've got about $1,700, $1,800 worth of leaf blowers sitting in front of me right now. All from the same brand. Why? Because they're the ones that have the good dealer support. They've got the good people in there who look after me. Um, I take these things in. If anything ever goes wrong or I need a um, new air filter, new spark plug or whatever, I take it in and I walk out with it. Um, like 10, 15 minutes later. Uh, and that's, up, that's with basically everything up to major major repairs which actually do take need to take a bit of time because they need to order in parts or what have you um so anyhow that's a bit of a deal around for you um love you ashbird and mowers but yeah that's that's drastic t changes so i'll go over a few differences in these um so obviously the bg56 is just a residential model right it's the average homeowner needs to blow off a front yard or whatever um doesn't need anti-vibration because they're not going to use it for long enough to really notice the effects of it. It's pretty good actually compared to some other blowers I've used which vibrate your arm off. Um, this one's actually pretty nice. Um, auto choke, great. Um, decent sized fuel tank. We can run this for ages. I, I, I might refuel this once every month or two because um, it gets used that little. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice all-round blower. If you're just doing general stuff, it's great. BG86 commercial grade obviously is built for contractors um anti-vibration all the extra little bits which make it a bit nicer for people who are going to be using it for a longer period of time it does i believe i think it holds 10 mils less in the fuel tank but honestly like what's that going to matter it has a bit of a better air filter i mean i don't really get this um screw on thing i'll just say quickly 
Um, so you have to actually unscrew this one. Um, and you've got your nice commercial HD2 or whatever it is air filter under here. If it'll ever come off. There we go. So there's your nice air filter. Um, a bit better, obviously. So it's, it's a proper coney thing in me, Bob. Um, that's all nice, but I, I mean, I would have for just just speed. Um, I would have preferred if they had the quicky twisty like what's on um, the BJ56. I don't really get why they put this because this is just stupid in my eyes. Um, it's going to rattle loose. It's going to come off. Where that one, um, it's it's far less susceptible to that because it's just a twist and lock like that. Bang. So this one is just a bit of foam. So it's a bit less secure, but um, less complex. But like that, that's not going to come off. This. Oops, sorry, with a lot of vibration might end up rattling loose. Um, easy to start, as I say, pretty nice. Um, cruise control, pretty nice for bigger properties and so on. One thing um, I do like on all these stills is the, um, I think they call it the momentary stop switch. I just call auto return, so you put, like it's in idle at the moment. Um, you press it down and it goes, turns the machine off, bounces straight back up, ready to start again. Same thing with this, it's always on, on. You press it, turns it off, back to start. I love that because the thing that does my head in is going to a machine, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, and then going, oh shit, the bloody um, switch isn't even turned on. So on all of these, it's just that momentary stop. You push it down, turns off, back up, ready to roll. So I've actually even got myself in the habit of the couple of other bits and pieces like the shin diwas or whatever, um, some of my cheaper bits of like garden line gear or so on that don't have that auto return I just as soon as it's turned off I just put the switch back into on so I'm just ready to go again um, and same thing I don't have the problem with these but after I've finished using a more traditional choked style machine um, again switch back to on and choke up to um, the choke position again just so that we're ready to start um, now some of my guys don't do that and it annoys me greatly but you know, whatever. Um, onto the BR700, again, top of the line. Um, don't really buy this if you don't really need it and you're not doing big places because it is, as you can see, pretty damn OP and the price is pretty stupid for a back, uh, leaf blower. Um, so if you've got enough work that you can justify and it actually pays it off, it's awesome. But if you don't, you'll end up with a very expensive investment just sitting. Um, big fuel tank, I do like that. This does drink gas pretty rapidly. Because um, obviously with blowers, like with trimmers and so on, um, we often run them at like half throttle. Oh, I want a 737838 going to Auckland or Christchurch or whatever, I think. Um, I've advocated for you. Oh, by the way, big rip to everyone in um, Christchurch with the big massacre thing uh, yesterday, I think it was. That's, that's just stupid, man. That's... I don't understand people. Anyhow, I might make another video on that if I feel like I'm not going to dig myself into a hole with that because I'll just end up going on a rant. Um, but yeah, um, my thoughts are with all those. Um, they're affected by that. Shouldn't be happening. Um, yeah, so, I mean, with this, it's it's been awesome. I'm so happy that I got it. Um, everything is in adjustable tube, adjustable handle, um, comfortable padding. It's just, it's such a nice blower to use. Um, that's so easy that's one of the reasons why i've actually i've just been picking this straight up is just because it's so simple you know um so yeah i, I love it uh, if it died and i need to buy another backpack well would i buy another one absolutely and that goes for all of these for um what they've been used for um i reckon they're awesome but yeah so that's a bit of blower wars for you um i mean which one will i say is best out of all of them, uh, depends on what you're judging it by. If I was going fuel consumption, I'd probably say the BG56. If I was going um, comfort, probably the 700 power, 700. Um, I mean, it is a bit in its own realm. Um, overall, if you're going to start a lawn business and you need to buy a leaf blower, I'd probably say buy the BG86. At least if you're in Australia, because these are kind of the three main models that you see people with and they'll either have the 56, the 86 or the 700. I just happen to have all three because, I mean, why not? Um, 
So, well, not why not, actually. I shouldn't say that. Um, why? Because I've been able to justify them. I've been fortunate enough to be able to purchase them. That's why. So if you're just starting out, you're building up your client base, <clears throat> you want to get jobs done quickly, efficiently, and everything else without spending a shit ton of money, go for something like, oh, maybe even the BG56, honestly, if you're, you're like really early days. Um, the BG56 is a really nice unit. Put some gloves on, you won't feel the vi vibration. It's got enough power to do um, most lawns and everything else. And then once you start building up your client base um, a bit more and so on, why I'd probably say sell the BG56. If you haven't put that many hours on, if it's in condition like mine, um, these retail for 249 I could probably sell this for 175 um, if I want to. Because <coughs> again, it's, it's low hours. Um, I've, I've kept them uh, in good service con condition. Um, I take care of my machines. So um, I'd probably sell the BG56 once I start picking up more and more work or retire it to a backup and buy the BG86. The BR700 is really only, um, you really only get a benefit from something of that size if you're um, doing huge complexes or multiple places in the one street. Um, <clears throat> and even then you need a few of those to actually justify it really. Um, it was uh, the only reason I did, got mine was because we had so many big cleanups where you're blowing absolute mountains of grass around and sometimes they'll be wet mountains of grass or you've got a lot of leaves at a property or you're just you're doing big places blowing off big driveways and it pays to have one of these because we went from you know we'd spend 10 15 minutes blowing off a property with the BJ56 to you know four five minutes with the BR700 so it just saves so much time so if if you're getting into the industry and you're trying to buy some decent equipment I'd say buy the BG86 uh, it's got a nice power to weight ratio um, it is a little bit heavier than the BG56. I spoke about all this in my last video. You guys were seen. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, the results, again, speak for themselves. So, that's your um, outcome. And, uh, you know, whichever one you think you fit into, whether you need to do that, that, or that, um, buy that blower. Because... Like I said in my last video, you know, you just, we're out here to um, make money, guys. We're not a charity. We have to get jobs done quickly and efficiently and be able to, you know, get in, do the work, get out, keep going to the next one. The longer you spend on a property, the less money you're going to make unless you're charging hourly, which is a stupid thing to do anyhow because it just lowers your profit margins in other ways. So, yeah. That's blowers for you. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something similar to this with mowers or trimmers or whatever. And I'll do my best to accommodate that. Once again, I will be um, doing some more reviews as well in the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed that video. Tell me what you think. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Sound cringy as now, don't I? Um, and we'll see you in the next video. So... Yeah, hope you enjoyed. That trees are going well, by the way. Might quickly add. Um, so, have a good one.